just a minute. Uh, take out chapter three. The Midnight Visitor, chapter number three, Footprints Without Feet. So it is the third chapter of Supplementary Reader. Now first, let us try to uh, get a hang of what the story is about. There is a writer. There is a writer who is looking for a story or a plot and a character. So the writer goes to visit a detective. The writer, he goes to visit a detective hoping to find a story there. The writer, he goes to find a plot or a story and so he visits the detective hoping that he will come across something interesting there. But when he visits the detective's office, he finds that the detective is far from the usual idea of a detective. Okay. Now see, you know, when we think of a detective, when we think of a detective, when we think of a detective, then uh, we imagine the detective to be tall, slender or slim, very handsome looking, very sharp, you know, having sharp features. Think of Sherlock Holmes or uh, think of Sherlock Holmes or Bumkesh Bakshi or, uh, you know, other detectives. So when you think of a detective, then a detective in our romantic idea is usually a tall, slender or slim, a hero-like character. A detective is like a hero, has heroic physical features. Okay. So like I said, what happens in the story is that there is a writer. He is short of ideas. He is short of ideas or short of a story. So in order to find a story, or in order, order to find some idea, he goes to visit a detective. He thinks that if I go to the detective office, then I will get a story or a plot. But when he reaches the detective's office or chamber, he is a bit upset. He is a bit disappointed. The writer is a bit disappointed to find that the detective is not at all like the detective that he had envisioned. The detective is not at all like the detective he had imagined. This detective is rather very fat. Looks like a, looks lazy, fat, ugly. How can he be a detective? All right. Clear. So once again, I'm saying the story is basically about a writer who is looking for a plot or some kind of a story to write. In order to find some plot or story, he goes to meet a detective. Now, when he goes to the detective's office, he is a bit disappointed to find that the detective is not at all like a heroic character. He is neither tall, nor thin, nor handsome. 
he is ugly and old and short and plump okay he does not at all he does not fit into the description of a usual detective he does not fit into the idea of the writer's mind the writer thinks that a detective is supposed to be tall and hero like physically very attractive dashing but this man is not at all dashing this man is rather fluffy old ugly short and mota fat so his idea of a detective is getting shattered here and then what follows we will read so turn to chapter number 3 page number 14 of uh, this book footprints without feet the midnight visitor hmm okay uh vivan can you read the first para yeah vivan read the first para can you daksh read the first para yes sir osebel did not fit any description of a secret agent fowler had ever read following him down the musty corridor of the gloomy french hotel where osebel had a room fowler felt led down it was a small room on the sixth and top floor and scarcely a setting for a romantic adventure osebel Osebel was, for one thing, fat, very fat, and then there was his accent. Though he spoke French and German, German passably, he had never altogether lost the American accent he had brought to Paris from Boston twenty years ago. Okay, wait. So here there are two characters. One is Osebel. Please underline Osebel. and write the detective he is the detective or bracket mein likho fat so osebel is the name of the detective and like i said he is not at all like the tall dashing detective that we often see in movies he is actually fat and short and ugly then underline the word fowler and write down a writer so fowler is a writer okay now look at the first couple of paragraphs again osebel did not fit any description of a secret agent secret agent matlab detective so osebel ek secret agent hai so osebel did not fit any description of a secret agent fowler had ever read fowler ne aaj tak jitne bhi kitabein padhi thi usme jo bhi secret agent hota hai ya detective hota hai wo kafi hero jaisa hota hai tall dashing physically very well built and very handsome lekin osebel to waisa dekhne mein lag hi nahi raha following him तो फाउलर उसको फॉलो करते करते आया है फॉलोइंग हिम डाउन द मस्टी कॉरिडोर ऑफ द ग्लूमी फ्रेंच होटल तो दिस स्टोरी इज सेट इन अ फ्रेंच होटल वेयर ऑसिबल हैड अ रूम फाउलर फेल्ट लेट डाउन तो ऑसिबल वॉज करेंटली स्टेइंग इन अ रूम इन अ फ्रेंच होटल एंड फाउलर द राइटर हैड फॉलोड हिम ऑल अलोंग द कॉरिडोर ऑफ द ग्लूमी होटल So this hotel look is a quite is a gloomy hotel. Does not look very cheerful or bright. Fowler felt let down. Means disappointed. Fowler felt disappointed. It was a small room. So as he entered Osebel's room, he found that the room is a very small one. 
it is on the sixth and top floor. Achha, please remember that the room is on the sixth floor. Underline this and write MCQ. It is very important and critical. Please remember that the room of possible the detective is on the sixth floor. ये दिमाग में रखो इस स्टोरी के एंड में काम में आएगा क्या बोला मैंने ऑसेबल का जो रूम है वो सिक्स फ्लोर में है जो कि टॉप फ्लोर है ओके सो ऑसेबल अपने रूम में गया और ऑसेबल के पीछे जो फाउलर राइटर है वो उसको फॉलो करते करते उसके पीछे गया उसके रूम में बट द रूम वॉज वैट अ वेरी स्मॉल एंड इट वॉज स्केयरसली अंडरलाइन स्केयरसली एंड राइट हार्डली इट वॉज हार्डली अ सेटिंग फॉर और रोमांटिक एडवेंचर नाउ फाउलर हु इज अ राइटर हैज गॉन देयर ट्राइंग टू सेट हिज स्टोरी इन दैट होटल बट वेन ही एंटर द रूम ही सॉ दैट इट सच अ सच अ स्मॉल रूम एंड सच अनो अन रोमांटिक काइंड ऑफ रूम इट डज नॉट हैव एनी ग्लोरी और एनी चार्म इवन द सीक्रेट एजेंट पॉसिबल इज अ शॉर्ट प्लम्प ugly fat man so how can i make him my detective and how can i make this small room the setting of my story therefore fowler felt let down or disappointed next para possible was for one thing fat very fat if you look at the next page you can see the diagram there that possible is a fat man so possible was fat very fat and then there was his accent so possible's accent is also something like though he spoke french and german possibly possibly means we can pass it the way he spoke french and the way he spoke german it was possible not very good possible he had never altogether lost the american accent he had brought to paris from boston 20 years ago so this story is set in paris which is in france this story is set in paris which is in france so possible french theek thak bolta hai लेकिन उसके फ्रेंच में एक अमेरिकन फ्लेयर है फ्लेवर है एक अमेरिकन एक्सेंट है जो वो बॉस्टन से लेके आया है 20 साल पहले ठीक है इसका मतलब आज से 20 साल पहले ऑसेबल अमेरिका के बॉस्टन शहर से यहां पे आया है पेरिस में तो 20 साल पहले ऑसेबल बॉस्टन में रहता था अमेरिका में शायद वहीं पे वो पला बड़ा हुआ था और 20 साल पहले वो पेरिस आया था लेकिन आज भी उसके आवाज में एक अमेरिकन एक्सेंट है सो ही इज नॉट अ प्रॉपर फ्रेंच डिटेक्टिव इज टोन इज हाफ फ्रेंच हाफ अमेरिकन सो दैट इज वन मोर रीजन व्हाई आवर राइटर फाउलर फेल्ट डिसअपॉइंटेड ही वाज होपिंग टू गेट अ वेरी स्मार्ट डैशिंग फ्रेंच डिटेक्टिव but here he comes across an ugly fat detective and that too who speaks with an american accent okay any query so far is everything clear prithika mannat any query aryan daksh rishav vivan goresh if any query then please ask me right now नो सर सो द इज़ अबाउट वन राइटर जिसका नाम है फाउलर एंड द डिटेक्टिव जिसका नाम है ऑसेबल फाउलर ऑसेबल के ऑफिस में जाता है ऑसेबल के रूम में जाता है एक्चुअली एक फ्रेंच होटल में ये स्टोरी पेरिस में सेट है और वो ये उम्मीद के साथ जाता है कि मुझे एक अच्छा खासा हीरो मिलेगा मेरे स्टोरी का हीरो मिलेगा लेकिन वो वहां जाके डिसअपॉइंटेड होता है जब वो देखता है कि ऑसेबल तो एक मोटा लड़का है ये एक मोटा सीक्रेट एजेंट है ये कैसे मेरा हीरो हो सकता है हाउ कैन ही बी द हीरो ऑफ माय स्टोरी ही इज एन अगली एंड अ फैट सीक्रेट एजेंट 
and he speaks French with an American accent. Okay. Uh, Daksh, read the third para. Yes, sir. You are disappointed, Osebel said wheezily over his shoulder. You were told that I was a secret agent, a spy dealing, is, dealing in espionage and danger. You wish to meet me because you are a writer, young and romantic. You envisioned mysterious figures in the night, the crack of pistols, drugs in the wine. Hmm. Wait. Now, Ossible understood that the writer Fowler is disappointed with him. Okay. So, Ossible samaj gaya and Ossible tells him that I know you are disappointed. Ossible said, Weasley. Okay, Weasley ka matlab hai, in a whistling sound. Jab sound mein thoda sa breath ya whistle ka awaz hai. So, Ossible said over his shoulder, you were told, Fowler, you were told that I was a secret agent, I was a spy dealing in espionage and danger. Okay, the word espionage means detection. You wished to meet me because you are a writer. Young and romantic. So that is why you wished to meet me. You wished to meet me because you are a writer, young and romantic. You envisioned, underline envisioned and write imagined or visualized. The word envisioned means imagined or visualized. So you envisioned, imagined or visualized mysterious figures in the night, the crack of pistols, drugs in the wine. So Osible tells him that you kya soch kya the? Ki yahan pe tumne ye imagine kiya tha. कि तुम्हें रात को कुछ मिस्टीरियस लोग दिखेंगे गोली की आवाज आएगी ड्रग्स में वाइन में वाइन में ड्रग्स मिलेंगे दैट इज व्हाट यू मस्ट हैव इमेजिन बिकॉज़ दैट इज व्हाट वी रीड इन द बुक्स एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी वॉच इन द मूवीज लुक एट द नेक्स्ट पैरा इनस्टेड यू हैव स्पेंट अ डल इवनिंग इन अ फ्रेंच म्यूजिक हॉल विद अ स्लोपी फैट मैन तो वो अपने आप को फैट मैन बुला रहा है तो ऑसेबल को पता है कि फाउलर जब से उसका पीछा कर रहा है इनफैक्ट एक म्यूजिक म्यूजिक हॉल में ऑसेबल जब म्यूजिक सुन रहा था तो फाउलर भी वहां बैठ के उस बैठा हुआ था सो ऑसेबल इज टेलिंग फाउलर दैट यू हैव स्पेंड अ डल इवनिंग इन अ फ्रेंच म्यूजिक हॉल विथ मी विथ अ स्लॉपी फैट मैन who instead of having messages slipped into his hand by dark eyed beauties gets only a prosaic underline prosaic and write dull or boring dull or boring who gets only a prosaic dull or boring telephone call making an appointment in his room you have been bored the fat man chuckled to himself chuckled means ha 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 laughed laughed to himself as he unlocked the door of his room and stood aside to let his frustrated guest enter underline frustrated guest and write fowler fowler Here. So, Osible is telling Fowler that I know you are disappointed. You are disappointed to meet me because I am not a hero like hero like detective. You are disappointed because you thought that when you would come to this hotel, you will come across some people flashing pistols. You will come across wine bottles and drugs. You will come across me 
handling secret messages or letters that have been given to me by some dark eyed beautiful woman instead what you saw is that you saw me watching a dull boring musical show and you saw me making a single dull boring telephone call which means that you are completely disappointed to come here anyway enter my room and then he unlocks the door and he allows fowler to enter his room please remember his room is on the 6th floor okay ausable's room in this hotel is on the so ausable's room in this hotel is the is on the 6th floor which is the top floor then you are disillusioned ausable told him but take cheer take cheer ka matlab likho cheer up take cheer means cheer up take cheer cheer up my young friend presently we will see a paper a quite important paper for which several men and women have risked their lives come to me so what will come to me a paper will come to me some day soon that paper may well affect the course of history so ausable tells the writer fowler that don't worry cheer up i know what you are looking for you are looking for some material for your writings and you have been bored here you did not find anything which you can write about but don't worry very soon i am going to receive a paper a document an important document concerning the world or the country this document is so important that several men and women have risked their life for it and soon one day this paper may very well affect the course of our, of our history so such a document is going to come to me now this document or this paper is very important for the country isme koi hidden koi army ke bare mein ya missile ke bare mein koi information so ausable uh, tells fowler that you cheer up because this paper which is going to come to me is probably going to make you a bit happy okay in that thought is drama is there not possible so tells fowler that here now you will find your drama tum jis drama ki talash mein aaye ho now you will get your interesting bit as he spoke possible closed the door behind him and then he switched on the light so possible then closed the door okay both of them have entered the room and then he switched on the light and as the light came on fowler had his first authentic thrill of the day underline the word authentic and write true t r u e true or real or genuine true or real or genuine G E N U I N E. So, जैसे ही ऑसेबल ने लाइट ऑन किया फाउलर द राइटर ही फेल्ट द फर्स्ट थ्रिल ऑफ द डे क्यों पता है क्योंकि उस अंधेरे रूम में एक आदमी खड़ा था एक क्रिमिनल खड़ा था वहां पे फॉर हाफ वे अक्रॉस द रूम अ स्मॉल 
automatic pistol in his hand stood a man so halfway across the room with a small pistol a man was standing there as you can see in this photo ostable blinked a few times max he wheezed you gave me quite a start start means shock i thought you were in berlin what are you doing here in my room so the detective ostable told this newcomer max that max i thought you are in berlin and germany i did not know you are here in paris what are you doing in my room so now we have a third character okay i am repeating the characters the first character is ostable ostable is a fat detective or secret agent second character is fowler who is a writer and he has come in search of a good story but he is so far slightly disappointed third character now is this max he is a criminal and he is now holding a gun now why has he come here do you know he has come to get the paper okay to get the document out of ausable you remember ausable ne abhi kaha tha ki mere paas ek paper ya document aane wala hai jo ki hamare country ke liye bahut important hai max has come to take or steal that document clear so look at the next para uh okay aryan uh, read the next para max was slender yes sir max was slender a little less than tall with features that suggested less slightly the crafty pointed countenance of a fox there was about him aside from the gun nothing especially menacing <coughs> wait so max ka ye description hai max was slender slender means slim a little less than tall so he was not very tall a little less than tall with physical features that suggested slightly the crafty pointed countenance countenance ka matlab hota hai chehra likho face he had the face of a fox okay uska jo chehra hai wo fox ki tarah tha thoda sa pointed aur thoda crafty crafty ka matlab likho cunning he looked slightly cunning like a fox there was about him aside from the gun nothing especially menacing underline the word menacing and right uh, scary scary so there was nothing scary about him apart from the gun he was not unusually big or tall he was not unusually strong he looked ordinary less than tall thin apart from the gun he did not look menacing or scary continue aryan yes aryan continue okay i'm reading the report he murmured so max murmured the report the report that is being brought to you tonight concerning some new missiles so underline karo ye jo report ya document hai it is about some new missiles you know what is a missile missile is basically like a huge bomb a bomb which one country uh may throw or may use against some other country so it is a report or a document concerning national defense 
And Max is saying that I know that a report is being brought to you about some new missiles. I thought I would take it from you. It will be safer in my hands than in yours. Ha ha ha. So Max says that I thought that I will take it or snatch it from you. It will be safer in my hands than in yours. So now we get to understand the purpose of Max. Max, the criminal, has come to this hotel to steal the documents which are going to come to Ossible. Because these documents are about some missiles or war. So it is a very precious document concerning defense of the country. Uh, look at the next paragraph. Uh, Britika, read the next paragraph. Page number 16, first paragraph. Possible moved to an armchair and sat down heavily. I'm going to raise the devil with the management this time, and you can bet on it, he said grimly. This is the second time in a month that somebody has got into my room through the nuisance of balcony. Fowler's eye went to the single window of the room. It was an ordinary window against which now the night was pressing blackly. Wait. Now, if you look at the next page, which is page number 17, can you see that in front of their room, there is a like a balcony, like a shelf, a legend, is a balcony, which means so Osibel says, Osibel is saying that I'm going to complain to the management of the hotel because of this balcony, log mere room mein ghus aate So Osibel is telling Max that Max, I am sure you have entered the room through this balcony, which connects my window, Matlab, window se utroge, to balcony pe aoge. which means that uh, the management of the hotel is to be blamed because of this balcony. Anybody can enter my room easily. Continue. Uh, next part, Britika, continue. Balcony, Max said with a rising inflection. No, a uh, passkey. I did not know about the balcony. It might have saved me some trouble had I known. Okay. So Max said balcony. So Max is surprised to know that there is a balcony bhi hai jisse mein aa sakta tha. So he said this with a rising inflection. Okay. Inflection means uh, voice. A voice ka tone. Hai. So Max is not aware of the balcony. Max says, no, I came using a pass key. Pass key means like a spare key. I had a duplicate key. And so I entered the room using that key. If I had known that there is a balcony there, then I would have easily come through that balcony into your room. I would not have to get into so much trouble of finding or arranging a duplicate key. Clear? Continue, Ritika. It's not my balcony, Osibel said with extreme irritation. It belongs to the next apartment. He glanced explanatory at Fowler. You see that this room used to be part of large unit and the next room through that door balcony which extends under my window now you get from the empty room to the town and somebody month the management promised to block it off but but they haven't so possible is saying that it is not my balcony this balcony does not belong to this room that this balcony belongs to the other apartment. Uh, this room used to be a part of the larger unit. This was a single room. Uh, 
and the next room through that door there it used to be the living room so ye pura ek pehle ek flat tha and that was the living room it had the balcony which extends under my window now you can get on to it from the empty room two doors down so possible says that it is very easy to enter that balcony from two doors down koi niche se upar ya upar se niche aasani se aa sakta hai using that balcony and somebody did last month also last month bhi koi aise upar aa gaya tha mere room ke andar i told the management the management promised to look to block it off but they haven't so ossible says in a complaining way that maine kaha tha management ko ki wo balcony ko band karwa de ya block karwa de lekin unhone nahi karwaya aur isliye aaj ye chor max mere room mein ghus aaya hai balcony se ye jaise bhi aaya okay then look at the next part max glanced at fowler so fowler is the writer max glanced at fowler who was standing stiffly not far from ossible and waved the gun he waved the gun with a commanding gesture with a commanding sign please sit down he said we have a wait of half an hour i think so max is telling a uh, fowler that you sit down we will have to wait for 30 minutes i think for the paper to arrive okay 31 minutes ossible said moodily now ossible who is a very cool secret agent he says 30 minutes nahi mere bhai 31 minutes baki hai abhi paper aane mein the appointment was for 12:30 abhi 12:30 hone mein 31 minutes baki hai i wish i knew how you learned about the report max so ossible max ko puchta hai कि मैक्स तुम्हें कैसे पता चला कि ये रिपोर्ट या ये डॉक्यूमेंट मेरे पास आने वाला है अगोरेश द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेटरी का मतलब है इन एन एक्सप्लेनिंग वे ही ग्लांस्ड एक्सप्लेनेटरी एट फाउंडर मतलब ही लुक्ड एट फाउंडर एंड विथ हिज लुक ही ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन हिम ओके ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन Anyway, so Osibel asked Max, Max, that Max, how did you get to know that I had the report? <clears throat> the little spy smiled. So who is the spy? Underline little spy. and right uh, max so little spy refers to max the little spy max smiled evilly and we wish we knew how your people got the report so he is a spy he is probably a spy from another country he is probably from germany so he says we we also wish that we knew how your people your people means how your country or how your country's government got that report but anyway no harm has been done i will get it back tonight i will steal it back tonight the word evilly means in an evil way it is just an adverb evilly means evil way he smiled in an evil way and max said koi baat nahi no harm has been done report tumhare paas aayega and i will take it away i will get it back tonight and us waqt koi knock karta hai gate pe somebody knocks at the door so max so max a uh, max becomes a bit startled what is that who is there at the door Read the next paragraph. Fowler jumped. 
uh, <clears throat> uh, Fowler jumped at the sudden knocking at the door. Oswald just smiled. That will be the police, he said. I thought that such an important paper as the one we are waiting for should have a little extra protection. I told him to check on me to make sure everything was all right. Marks bit his. I wait. So as somebody knocked at the door, Osible, the detective, he said, "Ki ye pakka police hogi." I had police ko kaha tha ki bich bich mein mujhe check karte rehna because we are dealing with important papers. Continue, Varesh. Varesh. Uh, Max bit his lip uh, nervously. The knocking was repeated. What will you do now, Max? Oswald asked. If I do not answer the door, they will enter anyway. The door is unlocked, and they will not hesitate to shoot. Max's face was black with anger, and he backed swiftly towards. the uh, window he swung a leg over the sill send them away he warned i will wait on the balcony send them away or i'll shoot and take my chances okay so possible is saying that what will you do now max ab tum fas gaye because police yahi pe khada hai and the door is unlocked any moment police will push open the door if i do not answer and once they see you max they will shoot you so max becomes a bit nervous and he climbs over the sill as you can see in the photograph that sill is that wall and he says okay i'm going there i'm going to wait on in the balcony you please send the police away and then i will come back or else i will shoot you i will take my chance a look at the next line the knocking at the door became louder and a voice was raised mr rosible mr rosible somebody is calling from behind then next page keeping his body twisted so that his gun still covered the fat man and his guest okay underline guest who is the guest fowler guest means fowler तो अपना गन को फाउलर और ऑसेबल पे रखते हुए वो धीरे धीरे उस तरफ जाता है बालकनी की तरफ द मैन एट द विंडो दैट इज मैक्स ग्रास्प द फ्रेम सो ही ग्रास्प द फ्रेम ऑफ द विंडो विथ हिज फ्री फ्री हैंड टू सपोर्ट हिमसेल्फ एंड देन ही स्वांग हिज अदर लेग अप एंड ओवर द विंडो सेल और फिर वैसे देखते देखते दोनों पैर उस तरफ करके बालकनी में उतरने वाला होता है एंड उसी वक्त कोई दरवाजा खोलता है द डोर नॉक टर्न सो स्विफ्टली मैक्स पुश्ड विथ हिज लेफ्ट हैंड टू फ्री हिमसेल्फ फ्रॉम द सेल एंड ड्रॉप टू द बालकनी एंड इमीडिएटली मैक्स उस पार बालकनी में उतर जाता है एंड देन एज ही ड्रॉप्ड ही स्क्रीम्ड वंस श्विली so max basically gets down on the other side and he screams the door opened and a waiter stood there with a tray a bottle and two glasses to us door ke piche police nahi tha waiter tha here is the drink you ordered for you ordered for when you returned the waiter said and he set the tray on the table deftly uncorked the bottle underline the word deftly and write uh, skillfully s k i l f u l l y so the waiter put the tray on the table and he skillfully uncorked the bottle and he left the room white faced fowler stared after him now fowler is a bit confused and he looked at the waiter and he looked at the uh, at possible 
ये तो पुलिस नहीं है तो वेटर है एंड सो ही आस्ट हिम बट ही स्टैमर्ड द पुलिस देर वॉज नो पुलिस पॉसिबल साइड ओनली हेनरी हु माई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग अंडरलाइन हेनरी एंड राइट द वेटर सोसिबल से पुलिस पुलिस कोई नहीं थी वो तो मैं कहानी बना रहा था मैक्स को बेवकूफ बनाने के लिए आई वॉज ओनली फूलिंग मैक्स दैट वॉज ओनली हेनरी द वेटर एंड आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग हिम बिकॉज आई हैड प्लेस्ड एन ऑर्डर ऑफ समथिंग बट वोन दैट मैन आउट ऑन द बालकनी Fowler began, and then Fowler said, "But what about Max? He is right there on the balcony. He will come and he will shoot us." "No," said Osible. "He won't return. You see, my young friend, there is no balcony." So Osible says, "No, he will not come. There is no balcony. Which means that 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 they are on the top floor or sixth floor. वहाँ पे कोई बालकनी है ही नहीं उतरने के लिए. Which means that he trapped Max by creating or making up a story that there is a balcony on the other end of the window. जहाँ पे तुम उतर सकते हो. Max, Max began to believe. That there is a put that there is police in the door, and there is a balcony on the other side. So Max actually got into the onto the other side, but there is no other side. There is no place to land. He simply fell down from the sixth floor, down maybe to his death, and that is why he screamed when he was falling. And the story ends here. Now, what does the story tell us? That possible, he proved himself to be a very smart, a very cool, a very calm and composed detective or secret agent with a very strong presence of mind. So Fowler को उसका story मिल गया. It also tells us that possible may not be a very dashing. tall or handsome secret agent but what he requires as a secret agent he does have it in abundance which is sharp mind and a quick presence of mind so osible using his presence of mind fooled max and made sure that max fell down on the other side down the uh, hotel building because max was an enemy and he did all this in a very cool and casual way which is worthy of him being a secret agent so therefore what do we find in the story <clears throat> so Fowler came, hoping to find a detective agent, a secret agent, who will have all the features of a hero, who will look like a hero, who will look very dashing and handsome and tall, well built. And he was disappointed because Osible was short and fat and ugly. not at all like the conventional hero but in the end what the story is trying to convey to us is that possible is a real hero because to be a real hero you need to be smart and you need to have a strong presence of mind a real hero does not mean to be dashing or handsome or tall and slender the real hero or the real secret agent hero is one who can cleverly fool even the criminal 
and that Osible has done very brilliantly. So Osible is indeed the real hero and the real detective or secret agent. Therefore, the story says that a secret agent ka kaam ye nahi hai ki wo achha dekhe ya lamba chauda ho ya dashing or handsome ho. Uska kaam hai ki wo apne master, apne words ka master ho. Ki wo apne baato se bevkoof bana sake a criminal ko bhi. Ki wo chaturai se ek aise jaga se nikal sake jahan wo trapped ho gaya tha. So Max had them in the, on the gunpoint. Max could have shot them. So they were completely under the trap of Max. But in a very clever and smooth and cool way, Ossible got himself and Fowler out of that danger. And that is why Fowler, uh, that is why Ossible is the real hero and a secret agent worthy of that title. Okay. And the name of the story is The Midnight Visitor. Uh, so the midnight visitor refers to Max. Yes. Any question, Mannat? Or Vritika? Or everything clear? Aryan, you? Daksh, Koresh, Rishabh? No, sir. Vivan, everything clear? So this is basically the story. Just to give you a last summary. So what happens in the story? The writer Fowler goes to a French hotel. He is in pursuit of a secret agent. He thinks that if I follow him and look at what he does, I will be able to write a story based on him and based on the, uh, his actions. He is initially disappointed because he finds that Ossible is a fat and a short and an ugly man. How can I make him the hero? As the story unfolds, Max comes and we find that Ossible, using his brilliant presence of mind, deceives the criminal and makes the criminal fall off the window down to the ground. And he probably dies. And he is not only a, a criminal, he is also a spy. So he is basically the criminal or the, uh, the enemy of the country. And then we come to know that Ossible had only cooked up the story of the police at the door and there being a balcony. Ossible does that in such a cool and collected and calm way that we all believe he was such bold, right? The way he made up the story that there is a balcony. Last month also somebody came there. I complained to the management, but the management is shitty management. They did not seal it up. Nobody blocked it. So everybody felt it that he is speaking the truth. Later we find that there is no balcony there. It's a clear drop. There is a 50 feet or 100 feet drop outside the window and Max fell down and in this way Ossible not only saved himself, not only saved Fowler, but he also saved the papers from getting stolen away. And therefore we can safely assume that finally the writer Fowler realized that he is indeed the true hero of my story. Even if he does not have the good looks, even if he does not have physical, physically appealing personality, but he has everything that he needs to have. He has all the ingredients of a secret agent and he has very heroically saved the country from a criminal. Okay.